Hey everybody, this is Noe with Walk With Yah. And in this segment, um, from the desk of, no, actually no, it's not what we're calling this at all. Uh, yeah, this is Q&A. So in this Q&A, um, I wanna talk about this topic and I wanna ask you, I'm gonna turn this around on you, is it easy for you to criticize others? You know, in this day and time, um, everyone has an opinion, everyone has something they want to say, everyone wants to have, uh, everyone wants to be heard, and even a lot of times on the comments and stuff like that in some articles, I mean, everyone, a lot of people jump down to the bottom to see what people have to say, and you know, some of them are pretty funny, for sure, and, but a lot of it's just very negative, a lot of it's very hateful, and I kind of want to focus on that. Uh, for those that call themselves uh, disciples um, of Yeshua, of Jesus, those that are wanting to be more like him, that want to be, you know, under his training, if you will, trying to live his Bible, um, I really want to think about that, about what we're actually doing, because it's very easy to call yourself a believer. And I really think for us to kind of, um, you know, win this battle is we got to apply the Bible in our lives. Now, in my family, um, you know what, with my brothers, we will uh, banter with each other and we will call you out on things um, in a nice, loving, firm and way. Uh, but, you know, we'll have some fun with you at your expense. And so, and, but again, it's just, it's a loving fun, but we're trying to encourage you. We're trying to help one another. And so, and I understand everyone's family is a little bit different, but we also have to understand that sometimes, you know, uh, in calling others out, that's very easy to do. And there's just not much accountability. There's not much growth there. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you're a, a child basically. And like, there's just no growth there. If all you want to do is call out other people, what if everyone called out your stuff, you know, and just, um, you know, if you were on the center stage. And so in Matthew 7, 4, uh, actually, you know, 7 verse 5, it talks about, you know, being a hypocrite, that we need to remove the planks from our own eye before we start being critical of others. And so in Philippians 2, 3, it says that we should look to... Uh, out for not only for our own interests, but the interests of others. We need to be problem solvers, encouraging people, using the gifts that he has given us to help each other and not tear each other down, which again is very easy to do. Anybody can do that. And so in James 3, 6, it talks about uh, our tongue, uh, you know, being a very small member of our body, but um, it can defile all of us, setting on fire uh, the wheel of life, and it is set on fire by hell. And hell is a very real place, by the way. And so we need to control our tongue. Uh, words are very powerful. That's another lesson. I'm not going to get into that. And so... I just want to encourage everyone to really think about what you say. Think about uh, those that, you know, may actually need an encouraging word. Those that are, are hurting themselves. And the Bible says in Philippians 4 verses 8 that we need to think about whatever is true and noble and righteous and clean and lovely. And all these things we need to think, you know, just to... To set our mind on the things above. And I really want to encourage you to, you know, even myself, um, to, to do better. And so because if we're in this division, if we're a divided nation, uh, a divided world, just tearing at one another, um, and who wins, really? The enemy. So, anyways... Just want to give you something to think about. And if you find that you have a problem with having this, this critical spirit, if you're, you know, feel that there's something wrong in your life that's kind of keeping you from doing that, you just can't let stuff go, 
please feel free to reach out to Walk With Yah, as maybe there's something there. Maybe there's something um, that you haven't uncovered yet that needs to be healed, you know? And so, anyways, just here for your biblical thought for the day. Uh, this is Noe with Walk With Yah. And just remember, maybe your miracle could be next.